There was two kinds of slaves. There was the house Negro and the field Negro. The house Negro, they lived in the house with master. But what I'm saying to you is they give you a depiction in movies and miniseries that make it seem like every slave's life was just completely worthless to the slave master. That's not true. They dressed pretty good. They ate good because they ate his food. But he left. The women of our group, let's just be honest, they look for any excuse they can to throw shots at Miss Ann because Miss Ann got everything they want. Or at least they think Miss Ann got everything they want. We know that. What you talking about, nigga? The house Negro, if the master say, we got a good house here, the house Negro say, yeah, we got a good house here. Whenever the master said we, he said we. That's how you can tell a house Negro. And if we got to be FaceTiming every fucking day, then that's what we going to do. But we're not going to sit here and, and start having all of this shit um, get you off your square because this is the thing that they want. The house Negro, if the master say, we got a good house here, the house Negro say, yeah, we got a good house here. Whenever the master said we, he said we. That's how you can tell a house Negro. If the master's, if the master's house caught on fire, the house Negro would fight harder to put the blaze out than the master would. I will, I can't, I won't, it's not in me to turn my back on the people and, and I and I and I know you I know you I know you looking at it from a system perspective, right? A systematic Who are you talking about turning your back on? It's people that have have held me down that that's, don't look nothing like me. He identified himself with his master more than his master identified with himself. And if you came to the house Negro and said, "Let's run away, let's escape, let's separate," that house Negro would look at you and say, "Man, you crazy." What you mean separate? Where is there a better house than this? Where can I wear better clothes than this? Where can I eat better food than this? That was that house Negro. It ain't the same as when me and Pearl talk on the phone. Because when Pearl talk on the phone to me, she like, Anton, what do you understand about this? Is it this net? Is that? And then she'd be like, oh, let me give you this, this tip that I realized. Because I was looking at your videos and let me show it is, you know, how you can do this. Because I hate it when you do this and you'll get more traction with this. And then I do that shit and I implement it and I get more money and then I add value in her. In those days, he was called a house nigga. And that's what we call him today because we still got some house niggas running around here. <laughs> this is Big Bad's Life with another informative, informative, informative video. We're just going to slow it down just a little bit because I want you to understand that the words that you are hearing coming out of their mouths, I'm not chopping and screwing it. I'm letting it play in real time. And if you can hear from the brother Malcolm, he is laying it out to you. And that's what we're seeing today. See, everything that you see in being played out, it was, it's was it been played out before. You got to understand life is a journey. And life ain't nothing happening that ain't been happening before. It's the same old playbook. The white people that you see that you call your friends, your buddies, and I'm not here to play the race game, but I'm here to show you game. Nothing that they're doing that hasn't been done under the sun. Everything that you see Pearly Things is doing, it's been done. All of your entertainers, that's what your YouTube content creators are. They're entertainers. They're here for the bag. They're not here to lead you. They're not here to give you substance. They're not here to give you anything. Unfortunately, that is sad for us because they play on the minds of the black community. We are in a situation where we need knowledge. We need information. We need all of these things to understand how to maneuver through this crazy white supremacist world that we live in. See, that's another thing you never hear coming from the content creators because they understand the owners of this platform don't want to hear that. So they try to cater in other ways. But I'm not here to do any catering. I'm here to spot out and point out the coons and the sellouts and the collaborators and the traders and all of these individuals who clone themselves as if they're helping us, that they're leading the way. But every time you hear them say something at the end of a <laughs> at the end of a comment, is hit the cash app. Is hit the like button. Of course, I want you to like this video, but not at the expense 
of you following me. I'm giving you good content. I supposed to have more subscribers and more than yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I supposed to, but I also I have integrity and I have a job to do. If I'm gonna jump on this and do this in real time, these Negroes they want a bag. That's what it's about a bag. Pearly thing represents a bag. She got millions of viewers that she can turn over to them. So you gotta understand, it's all a game. And one thing you learn about me, Frank, the color of a person's skin don't matter to me. I'm glad to hear that, George. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow evening. Right, Frank. I'm looking forward to seeing you too, Mrs. White. <laughs> And I'm going to plug you into some more excerpts and clips of their coonish ways so you can understand. You know what I'm saying? I want you to get what I'm getting because a lot of times we don't think the same. See, I can take clips and I can put them together in a way to where you can kind of like see it. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Oh, man. He really said that. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be able to look deep. And that's what I'm trying to provide for you. You dig what I'm saying? And the music in the background is just going to help you navigate through it, baby. You know what I'm saying? We we, we just like, we, we, we riding by. And we looking at this thing in real time. Now you in here going at Pearly about some petty ass shit that don't amount to nothing. So much so that you've got the entire space torn in half. Meanwhile, you can't even get on a panel with black women and be able to say a full thought without being interrupted, talked over, uh, uh, degraded, uh, 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 barked on, all that extra shit. But your biggest problem is pearly. That's your biggest problem, nigga. This not angry, man. Yeah, he's angry. But he's, he's Angry Bird. <laughs> he's Angry Bird. He ain't angry, man. He's Angry Bird. So he wants us to be at odds with the black woman rather than call out what's happening with the white woman who the black men, so-called, because everybody don't carry the banner for black men, so-called black men allow her the opportunity to skate on by with her remarks and her remarks come from her mind and her mind comes from a mindset and her mindset is ingrained in what? In white supremacist ideas. Angry Bird wants the bag. Angry Bird has been played. Angry Bird has been paid. But get this. Angry Bird was upset with Kevin Samuels. A lot of people don't know that. Here's the old footage of him going off on Kevin Samuels. A lot of people didn't know that Angry Bird had beef with Kevin Samuels. Latina smell better. Whoa. I, 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 somebody said that he literally said out of his mouth, Latina smell better. Whoa. Man, everybody knows. Everybody knows. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm coming with that big dick energy today. First of all, the only motherfuckers in this sector, the only motherfuckers in this space with any goddamn flavor is double M. Let's let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. Let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. The only niggas in this space. With any flavor is double M. Period. Point blank fucking period. Damn near half the sayings that niggas say in here we came up with. The vast majority of the damn terminology gotta be attributed to double M. <laughs> So let's just go ahead and state the facts, because I'm going to tell you the truth, Kevin. 
I don't give a fuck about your little bit of fame. I don't give a fuck about you skipping through Atlanta like the fairy king. I don't give a shit about none of that. I don't care what drag you, what fucking reality TV scrag you hung out with yesterday. You know don't none of that shit move me, my nigga. <laughs> Hey, hey, yo! Y'all haven't figured out who you're talking about yet? Hey, put it, put the name in the chat if you know who he's talking about right now. All right, do put a, put a, put a, the name in the chat if you know who he's referring to right now. Okay, that's bringing out his inner gyno, gyno, gyno what do we say, gyno, gynocracy, right? That's the inner gynocracy coming right out, right? The same energy you had coming at after, oh boy, for. Stealing your talking points, you're sitting in your car screaming at nobody but a camera in front of you, bringing that inner gynocracy out. So what's the difference between you over here crying about Kevin Samuels taking your shit and being famous versus us holding Porto accountable for being racist? Your arguments don't make sense if we have the past. And by the way, y'all niggas that think y'all are like, I've been following this nigga for a long time. So don't get, all of this thing I'm saying is with respect. So that's why I still have access to a lot of his old videos. Because old angry man was wild. Nim, right here. Go to his channel now, you're not gonna see any of that shit. White and clean, cause my boy's ready to make moves. But this was angry man. You still remember? Let's keep going. You know from day one, ever since you first spoke to me, you know it's about the mission for me, my nigga. I ain't no clout chasing diva. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Everybody else might be impressed with that shit, nigga, but you know I'm not impressed. Especially when your whole motherfucking, your whole fucking program, your entire fucking persona, you basically came into the fucking manosphere and stole it from everybody else. Let's be real, nigga. You didn't get all of them fucking subs from fucking spraying perfume and talking about Chelsea boots, nigga. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, yo. You got all. Hey, yo. I ain't gonna lie. Angry man funny as hell. It's Chelsea boots, nigga. But, hey, that's the inner gynocentricness, right? You were just talking about earlier. Because you, you look mad pissed off. You look mad pissed off about Kevin Samuels. While he's over there doing Hollywood and shit, you in your car. Yelling. So who who's acting like a female here? Like who you judging, bro? We still got access to this. Y'all who are uh, uh, angry man fans, you all coming in from TikTok and whatnot. If you haven't seen this video or the next one we about to play, don't sit here and come at me about accountability. Don't sit here and tell me that I know what I'm. I'm not. I don't know what I'm talking about. He's just as emotional as everybody else. And see now, what's gonna happen is we're gonna see. If, cause see, I have a theory. I have a theory about this, right? And you guys know me being a Sigma. I don't like bullies. And I don't like people who bully people just for the sake of doing it, right? And I have a theory. I have a theory that you niggas are not mad at her because of what she said. You niggas are mad at her because she's white. And you know when white supremacy, when they are through with their tools, they break them. This is Big Bass Life with another informative, informative, informative video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'm only saying like because if you like it and you got something from it and you digging it, like it. If you don't, get the hell off my page. <laughs> but let's get to it. Big Bass Life with another informative video, man. When I say informative, I mean informative, informative video. Let's get to it. And I bet you in a do. I. How you black in the man getting basic dough? High maintenance, your man, he a basic hoe. Caping for the Beckys like Superman. Black excellence, nah, he a stupid man. He ain't chosen, so he a choosy man. Kinda soft going hard just to prove it, man. Bitch made, know the language. Emotions overflow, you know, bitch nigga anger. Horses go up some optics. Bitch nigga singing, phone ain't even right. That's that bitch nigga ringer. Fashion over sweet, homie. Bitch nigga fingers. Wife, she a beard, that's that bitch nigga swinger. I ain't even talking rims, get the middle finger. Since you're rolling with it, show that bitch nigga bring it. 
Homie, won't you sing it? Hey, Shalene, Martin, you got your money, don't you worry. Shalene, Martin, you got your money. Hey, Shalene, Martin, you got your money, don't you worry. Shalene, Martin, you got your money. No such thing as equality between us. This is why white people have to have a system to keep us at a certain distance. Because when we talk about our ability, like physically, mentally, we'll surpass them every time. So they have to keep this gap. It's it's never that they're just genuinely, yeah, they're doing that because they're ahead of you and going to be able to stay ahead of you in certain ways. I don't believe so. Okay. It's a white savior. Con- white people do things for black people because they want to feel But it's not just white powerful. people, right? It's anybody non-black. The majority of people. See, there are many different types of people, Ruckus. So God created many separate, but, well, for the most part, equal heavens. You don't say. White heaven is for decent, good, God-fearing Christians who just happen to, well, hate everyone and everything relating to black people. That means no Muhammad Ali, no hip-hop music, and no f***ing Jesse Jackson. What about Whoopi Goldberg? Nope. Oh, this is hell. Turns out that God really doesn't have that much of a problem with racism. He doesn't even remember slavery, except in February. Personally, I hate black people, Ruckus. That's why I did everything I could to make their lives miserable. Crack? Me. AIDS? Me. Reaganomics? <laughs> Come on, I'm in the name. And God has rewarded me. Know why? Uh, cause two niggas and two quarters don't add up to a dollar? Well, that. And because God loves white people. And if you teach everyone on Earth to love the white man, you too can join us in white heaven. Well, I can't. I won't. It's not in me to turn my back on the people and, and I and I and I know you I know you I know you looking at it from a system perspective, right? A systematic Who are you talking about turning your back on? It's people that have have held me down that that's, don't look nothing like me. This is Big Bad's life that I'm filling in for with another informative, informative, informative video. By no way I am making any mockery of you. And excuse me, Mr. Saucy Santana, for using your video. But by any way or no shape, form, or fashion, am I making fun of you? I am only trying to show the identical qualities of Mr. Saucy and Sassy. Have a good day. I'll get you, bitch.